To most of the world, Alabama is just a bunch of rednecks with pitchforks that drink beer on Friday and go to church on Sunday. But what lies beneath the stereotype? What is the story walking around the streets of Florence, Alabama? What's the secret of the Shoals area? Music. In 1959, Rick Hall and two other musicians opened a recording studio in Muscle Shoals called Fame. Ever since, the Shoals has been a buried parcel of talent and entertainment. However, musicians are night creatures. They lure in the dark with their guitars and tambourines, and they play their life in a song and pray someone will listen. In this feature, I talked to three local musicians of the Shoals. Hopefully, it will show you that they're not just a bunch of untalented hillbillies. They're innovators, artists, composers, entertainers that are just undiscovered. I'm from Florence, Alabama, and I play the piano. I've been playing the piano since I was about 14. I'm about to turn 20 now. So, six years. I like the piano is because it can be looked at as the bass instrument. It's a visual representation of almost all the notes, which kind of makes it a bass form for all the other instruments if you look at it that way. The last show I played uh, was in the old Joel's Theater, and it was a couple of our students out there. I was second to last, and if I was second to last, it means I was the second best there. And I got out there, and there was just so many people out there. The place was filled up, and I just started playing and stuff. I got done. I was like, yay, I did good. I did great. This is the lady gets out there. She looks kind of, she looked like she'd been playing for a little while. She was about 20 or so. I was like, oh, she's probably going to play a little bit better song. She gets out there and starts shredding the entire piano, and I literally just put my hands behind my head and just walked away. I was like, ah, she just showed up. <laughs> shows that I just get so nervous going out there the number one thing that helps me is we're told that when we walk on stage we take the bow or whatever we you have to take a deep breath and then when you sit down you roll your shoulders to relax and that helps a lot but I'm still just like oh. Oh, the first time I went out and got on, or got on stage to play I just couldn't get myself to focus I was just, I, I didn't even want to start the song I was just like oh. My name is Kayla Stokes. I'm from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. I play guitar, I play piano, I sing, but I prefer a guitar. I've been doing all of this since I was eight. I started playing guitar when I was eight. I started playing piano before that. But really, guitars and does eight. If somebody were to offer me to walk up and offer me a contract to sign and play, I mean, I would definitely do it, no doubt. But it's not something I look for. It's not something I actively try to do. You know what I mean? I love it. It makes me happy. Real, it was relaxing and I love, you know, to play and for other people like, you know, like when you're just sitting around with friends and stuff and you just play and it's fun. I think about everything except for the chords that I'm playing 
because if I sit and I think hard on the chords I'm playing, I will play the wrong chord. I promise you, I will. So I will look at people or think about the ocean or something, you know, just think about the words to the song. You have to do that, but I can't think of the chords at all. I played seven nights of Handy Week. One of the nights when I played acoustic, two producers from Nashville came and actually like got my information and stuff and like talked to me. And um, we recorded a demo. It was so, you know, fun. It's a good experience. Chad Etheridge and I'm from here in Florence. I play guitar and I also do a lot of mixing and editing with the Pro Tools and uh, Guitar Pro. I've been playing guitar for eight years and after I quit taking lessons I started getting into some recording and uh, writing stuff of my own. So I uh, got Guitar Pro for my computer and started learning how to read music and write out my own tablature and sheet music for the stuff that I write. I played with a band called Dig Not the Skies here in town and we got into recording so we got into uh, Pro Tools and recorded a few of our own songs. The whole reason I play music is uh, when we play shows, I love to watch the crowd. I love to see people just go nuts. I play the guitar because um, I, I just love the challenge. It's anytime I want to sit down and try to learn something new, it's, there's always more to learn. There's always something else to do. It's always something I can't do good enough or can't play fast enough. So. I love editing too, the just writing and uh, being able to actually write all my ideas down in sheet music or being able to record my ideas and be able to express them and be able to show them to other people. It's always been really neat and I've always enjoyed doing it. Well, when I started performing, a lot of what I would think about would just be, well, what do I play next and uh, what part comes after this part? Or, I don't want to mess up on this part, but after you get used to it, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I mean, the more you practice, you, your songs just become second nature. My best experience while playing music has been while I've been performing. And as we started to play more and more shows, eventually people started to learn the words to our music. And actually hearing people sing your music back to you is one of the coolest experiences that anyone could ever have in their life. Sadly, music is slowly becoming extinct. We need to change that. I'd say to anybody that's thinking about picking up a musical instrument or just anybody with an interest in music in general, I'd highly recommend piano or just any instrument that you feel comfortable with. We need to fight to keep music alive everywhere so that Florence isn't just looked over and all the talent here is hidden forever. I think anyone, if you ever get an opportunity to learn an instrument or if you have an instrument and you just never learned how to play, I think anyone should definitely consider learning or at least trying to learn an instrument. It's been a great experience for me. I do think everyone should do something with music. Even if you can't play or you can't sing or whatever, you can still sing in your shower or sing wherever. Listen to music. definitely need to try it. It's, uh, it'll change your life.